Alright, this is my, like, eighth time trying to record this. Uh, I'm going to spin up a new droplet first on DigitalOcean. Let me go ahead and just make it the cheapest I can. Whatever. And I just made this uh, RSA key. And I'm going to use my real website because you need to have a... Uh, You need to have <clears throat> your DNS pointing at it. This is the one I used for the last video. So let's, once I get the IP address, we'll stick it right there. Um, and that's going to be used in the app. I'm going to move to the app first while we're waiting for that. Um, so right here, these this app stub it's just an empty or just like a simple node express app that serves this domain thing so anything that you see inside of these square brackets with uh, caps those are the plugs this port is the only one that's uh, that you can't write as a variable that one will get overridden uh, and those will be the different variables when you run the app, that's first time. Oh, cool. So let's copy this. So now I've got my domain pointing at that IP address. I'm not sure how long it will take. Uh, but I also have a record for each one of these subdomains. And you need to have a record for all of them. And it needs to be pointing at the... Now that I deleted the old one, yeah, it'll just time out and say it's not. It's not pointing. It's still pointing to the old one that doesn't exist. Uh, so I'm back in the app while we wait for GoDaddy to catch up to us. I'm going to create a new user, uh, give it a password, and this is to encrypt all of your settings. Uh, and in the settings, uh, update first. So I have some default settings that are, I have them hard-coded in there because I also have all of these uh, example expect scripts. So you can run any of these scripts uh, also with the same plugs. So this one will like SSH. This is the first one that runs to add a new user. Um, it'll log in as root. Um, add a user, grant uh, mod privileges, add SSH to the firewall. Uh, cool, I think GoDaddy now caught up with us. So it's pointing to nothingness, unless it's still timing. Uh, and then adds the uh, SSH for that user and and you can make expect scripts of your own or any shell scripts of your own for it to run and just stick them in this expect folder and you'll find those in the app uh, so the do domain is the top level now a password for the new user that I'm going to create password with a zero, the version of node I want to install, 17, that's the newest, uh, now the RSA password I think was just password, this is the password for the RSA key, the app version, that's another one that we'll just go into Uh, into the plugs and you can you can add your own keys as well uh, and and just create a plug anywhere on your app sub or in your server block so the server block is the block it will create for each subdomain that you make um, now the port for that one 
is also automatically configured because that's that will be overridden because that's the same one that it sticks points the app to so the location for the RSA key you need to you need to escape the uh, forward slashes and that RSA key is test I believe um, my email the new user for the server now I'm gonna add a setting just to show you what that's like let's add one called age value 33 so now that I've added that age when you look at your settings again it'll be in there somewhere there uh, so if I want to stick that in the apps like you want to stick any variables into your apps um, let's go ahead and expand this so now when it creates a new app for each one of that's annoying the age is going to be the age block just like that uh, and I'll save that so anyway <clears throat> go back to the main menu and run server scripts the first thing I'm going to do is build server blocks and apps And that builds them into this app folder so you can view them. Uh, so see it added the age variable. Uh, the domain for that one is dev. The ports which each app are going to run on. Uh, now here I'm going to quit real quick because I want to... Uh, The server blocks, oops, shit. So it's configured a server block for the top level with uh, also with the option without the WW and uh, one for each one of the subdomains which we've created plus the ports that they're running on. Uh, so cool, that worked well. And all of the apps. Now I'll go back into the app real quick. Uh, choose my user. Uh, and then let me just check my settings real quick. Yeah, make sure everything. It's just double checking before I run them. The last video I fucked it up. And it broke my scripts, so I had to restart. Uh, <laughs> so let's run some server scripts. The first thing I'm going to do is that that add user one, and that will just log in as root and create a user, so I can SSH into. That's with rebel at what's the new IP address? That new. So now it's created this user. And it wants the oops. We got a hand jitters. Cool. Um, now we've got an empty home directory. Now let's upload our apps. Uh, Let's check that again. So it's uploaded 
each of the apps. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, install Nginx. Now that is a longer script. The install Nginx and install Node both do a lot of the configuration. So they take several minutes to run. Um, last time I did this it started showing some funky characters and like kind of messing up the log thing but let's see that should take just another minute or so And what that one's doing so that one will uh, logs in, installs Nginx, uh, adds Nginx uh, or upgrades the firewall uh, from HTTP to HTTPS and um, so it uploads the default, the server block thing, and then it puts them into this, into the default place for, I think I should wait for before I mess with that. Uh, and then it edits the configuration file too to update the uh, server hash bucket, uh, server names hash bucket size. Then then it does cert block and or cert bot and for each one of them. So now if I do pseudo nano, look at the server blocks. So this is the password we gave to that new user thing. Cool. And CertBot, CertBot has configured each one of the server blocks. Uh, oops. God damn it. Anyway, uh, let's make sure that that's sudo engine Cool, that looks like it worked uh, properly. So now I'm going to do the Node.js. And that one will install Node.js. Start up at the top. So it downloads the last the version that we wanted it to download from uh, Node Source. It runs it with bash. Let's see, installs Node.js. Uses the new user. And it installs Build Essential, PM2, uh, initializes NPM, and for every one of the subdomains, it will start a new process with PM2. And then it's Oh, then it uh, sets PM2 as a service on startup, so if there's any outages or whatever, it will run all of the apps automatically, just for uh, keep alive. And that's that. Now some of those things take, you know, like several minutes waiting for Node to install and stuff, so... <clears throat> so you have to be pretty patient, I guess, just waiting for them. And I'm not the best at all at writing expect scripts. I've only started learning how to write expect stuff <laughs> yesterday. So all of these scripts I did last night. This should just take another minute. 
and I really don't want to mess with the server while I'm waiting for for this installation. Waiting for build essential. So that is at sorry if that noise was awful on the microphone. Oh, now it's installing PM2. So we're about right here. Still waiting for PM2 install. Cool, it looks like that one worked. Uh, now it's setting up NPM. Now it's starting each one of them. Cool. Now uh, let's go over here. PM2 status. Every one of those apps is online. Now if we go to website again. Yes. <laughs> So you have our app running with that variable we added on the top level. Uh, there's one for, what was it, FTP, there's one for mail, for dev, and each one of them, it's, it's a simple app, all it does is, but that's, I mean, that's up to you as the dev to, <laughs> to build your own apps. But this takes care of everything, and it just plain works. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, there are plenty of things I can improve and add to it. But that's that. I'm very proud. <laughs> anyway, I'm done recording these videos. <laughs>